Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Anil Arankes and for this video tutorial, we'll be discussing data binding using data grid view in C Sharp in Forms. Okay, but before we start, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified for my future video tutorial. Okay, let's start. So, uh, basically, what we are trying to achieve now is to bind our data grid and then uh, we have here our button, so whatever changes that we do in our data grid will be reflected directly into our database. Like we add a, a new row here, yeah, those new rows will be automatically inserted into our database. And if whatever changes that we do in, uh, if, uh, in, a, in a certain cell in the data grid, then it will also be reflected into our database and also if you delete a row then automatically those row will also be deleted into our database okay so let's start first thing that we will do is to uh, create a method to and you will use that method to bind our data grid okay so let's just create a method and name it as uh, bind grid. Okay. So next is we will create uh, the things that we need to be able for us to bind our data grid into our database. Okay. So what are the things that we need? So basically we need a data table, a data adapter, a command builder, and a um, uh, of course, MySQL connection and MySQL command. Okay, so those are the things that we need uh, for us to be able to bind our uh, data grid into our database. Okay, so let's start creating uh, those things. So let's just create first a data table. Let's just name it source. And then MySQL data adapter. And then the MySQL command builder. Okay, so after that, inside our bind grid, we will be creating our connection string. Of course, the connection string is needed uh, for our MySQL connection. Then after creating our MySQL connection, let's open the connection. And then after creating the connection, uh, we will uh, create our MySQL command. Okay, basically inside our MySQL command, let's just uh, select, set our select command and then use that MySQL command to our adapter and then the MySQL adapter will be, uh, will fill the, those data from our database into our data adapter and then our data adapter will be, will serve as the data source of our data grid. Okay, and then after setting the data source then we are done with binding our data grid into our database. Okay, of course, we'll be using MySQL command builder uh, and then we will set the command builder's data adapter to our adapter. Our data adapter will be uh, set as the data adapter of our MySQL command builder. And then after that, uh, automatically our MySQL command builder will create our insert, update, and delete command. Okay, so let's start creating. Uh, first, we need to create our connection string. Okay, and then after creating our connection string, uh, let's create uh, after let's create our MySQL connection. Okay, after that. Let's create our MySQL command. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a MySQL command. So just after creating our MySQL command, we need to set our connection, which is our MySQL connection, and then we will set our command text. Okay, basically our command text will be just a select uh, query. Uh, so that we, we will fetch the data from our database and then those data will be filled inside our data table, okay?
Okay, so what we have here after creating our MySQL command, we created our uh, data table and our data doctor and then our command in there. Okay, so basically at the top portion, we just declare our uh, data table and then MySQL adapter and then the command builder. Then here inside our bind grid, we we are now creating the object of our data uh, our data table, our MySQL data adapter, and then our command builder. Okay, after that, okay, we will set the command builder's adapter as our adapter, the adapter that we created, and then after that, we set the adapter. Okay, after that we set the adapter select command, this is our command, my SQL command. And then after that we fill our uh, data table which is the source. So what uh, whatever data that the data adapter will be fetching in uh, from our database using the select command, then it will be filled inside our uh, data table which is data, data source okay after that we set the data grid view the data source as the as our uh, data table which is our source okay uh, by this code we are basically now binding our data grid into our data table okay so automatically whatever data that we, that is being fetched by the uh, data, data adapter and then it's being filled inside our data table then those data will be uh, displayed inside our data grid okay we are done with creating our uh, code so let's just call the method bind grid in, inside our form 1 um, constructor and then after that uh, let's just try if our code is working Okay, as you can see here, um, we have our existing data, which is Arneleo, uh, Bizarre, Estella, Ellen Gray. So basically, we have four rows here. So we can edit and update or even delete those uh, rows into our database directly using our data adapter. Now, how to update, delete, or insert our MySQL database using the data adapter that we, we we created. Okay, so first thing that we will do uh, before we will create our code. So uh, let's just set some properties of our data grid. Okay, so let's make sure that we allow the users to add rows and delete rows so let's make make sure that it's true okay and then uh, let's make sure that the multi select is false so that um, the user can only select one row okay and then read only make sure it is false so that the user can edit the cells of your data grid okay so Let's start. So inside our um, save button click event, okay, we will insert here the code that will uh, directly update our database using our uh, data adapter. Okay. All we need to do first is we, we check if there are changes happens into our uh, data grid. So what we are trying, what we are doing now is we get the data source and convert it as a data table. After that, we using the get changes uh, method, we will uh, get what uh, what are the changes that that happened into our data grid. Okay. After that, to check if there are changes, all we need to do is to check if our data table changes is not equals to null. If it's not equals to null, then it means there are some changes happened into our data grid. So after that, we just call our adapter and then call the me method update and then enclose 
inside our update method, we will uh, put the source. Remember, the source is our data table, and our data table is the data source of our data grid. Okay, so whatever changes that is being reflected into our uh, data grid, then it will be reflected into our source, since our source is our data source. Okay, so we will use those changes to so that we can update our database directly. Okay, so that's, that's the main purpose of this adapter that update Gen Sol. Okay, after the reflection, then we will rebind our data grid so that we can uh, refresh our data grid and then reflect whatever changes that we had. Okay, so bind, let's call again our bind grid method so that we can rebind our data grid. Okay, let's try if it's working. Okay, so Ellen Grace, let's change it to Lastima. Then give me the full name. Okay, so like that. Then see as after we rerun our application, we have we now here the uh, changes. Okay, we, it is already reflected into our data grid. Okay, so let's try to add one row. Okay, then click the save method, I save button, and then after that, rerun. As you can see here, uh, we have new row uh, available in our data grid. Okay, so let's try to delete. Okay, basically we have here a context menu script. Let's just click uh, put here delete one, uh, delete text, and after that we set the context menu as uh, in, as the context menu of our data grid. So let's just create a code inside our text menu. If, we, if the user will click the delete, then what we'll do now is to get the row. After getting the row, uh, we will delete the selected row and then using the adapter that update, we, uh, we will reflect those, reflect those changes directly into our database. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we check uh, if there if there's a selected row in, in our uh, data grid. After if there after the count method here at the count property returns uh, one or not equal to zero, then it means we are uh, the user select a certain row into our data grid. Okay, after that we get the index of the selected row. After that. Uh, we will use the index uh, uh, to call our remove at me uh, method inside our rows data grid that rows that remove at so that the selected row will be removed into our data grid. Okay, so just like that. So after that, after removing the selected row, then we will be calling our uh, adapter that update so that. Uh, the changes will be reflected directly into our data grid. Okay, so after the source, okay, after um, updating our database, then let's rebind our data grid so that uh, the changes will be reflected into our data grid. Okay, let's try. Okay, so let's select a row, then delete. As you can see, after we rerun, um, the selected row was removed. Okay, let's try again. So let's rerun. So the selected row was removed. Again. Okay, delete. So the selected row was removed. If we rerun the application, so the row, the selected row was removed. Okay, so. That's it. Basically, uh, that's the way how to uh, data bind our data grid and then uh, how to reflect those changes uh, 
in into our data grid directly into our database okay hope you guys learned something from me so thank you for watching please again please subscribe to my channel coditor tv and click the notification bell bye bye happy coding